Hello friends, I am going to show you now the program of bubble sort. So how to implement the bubble sort? I will show you. So this is the program of bubble sort. So you have to include the header, header files. The program starts with void main. The variables, variable declaration is there. After that, we have to enter the five elements into the array. So this is the array which is given, or the elements which are given by the user. User will enter the elements which they want, and we have to sort out those elements by using the bubble sort. So technique behind the bubble sort is we have to compare first element with the second, second with the third, third with the fourth. Like that, we have to we are we are comparing each element with the other one. And if the element is less than the next element, then we have to swap the element. So swapping will be done in the bubble sort. So we have already entered five elements. If you want to show them to the user, then you have to write down that elements of the array before sorting. So you can show this, these lines to the user that elements of the array before sorting. <clears throat> After that, for i is equal to 0, i is less than or equal to 3, i plus. Up to the last element, what we have we are doing, we are keeping two variables, i and j, to keep the track of the first and the second variable. We are comparing the first with the second one. And if a of j is greater than a of j plus 1, how many times your loops will continue? So i is equal to 0, i is less than or equal to 3. So four times your loop will executed. In your bubble sort, if you want to sort n number of elements, there are n minus 1 passes are required. So the first for loop of i is required to keep the track of passes, different passes. So if there are five elements we are entering, so that means we require four passes for the entire elements to be sorted. So for i is equal to 0, i is less than or equal to 3, will maintain the track of the passes. And second, for i is, uh, sorry, for j equal to 0, j is less than or equal to 3 minus i, j plus plus. What we are going to do, we are swapping the elements, we are comparing elements with each other. So first element we have to compare with the second, second with the third. Like that we have to do the comparison. And in that case, if the a of j is greater than a of j plus 1, that means we have to swap the elements. If the first element is greater than the second one, then we have to swap the elements in the same fashion. So this is the simple code. This temporary equal to a of j, a of j equal to a of j plus 1, a of j plus 1 equal to temporary. It is the common structure to swap the elements from one position to another position, first position to second position. After all these number of for loops completed, we get our sorted elements in the array. So for that, to print those elements, we have to again use the for loop to print all those numbers. And printf in that, printf percent a of i will print all the elements and get it will give you the output. Okay, so I will run this program and show you how it works. So enter five elements. So you have to enter the unsorted elements here. Any type of elements you can enter in that. So elements before sorted are. 34, 56, 21, 78, 92. And after sorting, the elements will be 21, 34, 56, 78, and 92. So each time the swapping will do by using the same formula that first element will compare with the second one, second with the third one. And in that case, if the first element is greater than the second one, then we have to swap them with each other. Okay. So this is the basic concept behind the bubble chart. So, after the first, pal first pass, you will get the smallest element at the first position. Okay. This is simple bubble chart. 